Hey, what is up, everybody? This is your boy, AJ Tripp. And welcome to the game according to me. This is my weekly podcast where we go over college and pro football. And sometimes we talk about other things as well. But mainly, this is college and pro football. And that's what we're going to do here today. We're going to talk about this past weekend's action in the college football and in the National Football League. Just go ahead. Let's just jump right into the action. We start, as always, with the NCAA. We take a look back at last week. We had Penn State beating Delaware 63-7. to We're still in the part where a lot of teams are playing tomato cans. And one, one game that should have been a tomato can game um, ended up being kind of more of a game than expected for like the first, you know, half or so. But Notre Dame and NC State, they also had to go through a lightning uh, and, and, and weather delay, but Notre Dame beat NC State 45-24. Utah beat Baylor 20-13. Kansas State beat Troy 42-13. Colorado destroyed Nebraska 36-14. Uh, old Big 12 and Big 8 rivalry. Um, let's see that. Uh, Ohio State, Deion, and by the way, Deion Sanders is, is just cooking and Shadur Sanders is cooking, and Travis Hunter is cooking, all the things are cooking in Colorado. It's amazing. Ohio State beat Youngtown State 35-7. Georgia beat Ball State 45-3. Iowa won the Cyhawk Trophy against Iowa State 20-13. Mississippi beat Tulane 37-20. Michigan took on UNLV, beat them up 35-7, getting them back for the 30 years ago, NCAA basketball game, I guess. Um, Miami beat Texas A&M 48 to 33. Most points Miami has put up in an over and over a dozen years, I think it was said. So that's amazing. 48 points for Miami of Florida. Washington beat Tulsa 43 to 10. Tennessee beat Austin P 30 to 13. NC State went to overtime with Appalachian State 140 to 34. Duke beat Lafayette 42 to 7. Oklahoma took on SMU 128 to 11. Oregon beat Texas Tech 38 to 30. Uh, in the game of the, in the game of the week, two ranked teams going at each other. Texas beat Alabama 34 to 24. LSU beat Virginia State 72 to 10. UCLA beat San Diego State 35 to 10. Washington State beat Wisconsin 31 to 22. Florida State beat Southern Miss 66 to 13. Oregon State beat UC Davis 55 to 7. And USC beat Stanford 56 to 10. As we look ahead to week three, uh, once again we have a lot of, you know, a lot of what looks to be like, you know, tomato can games again. So that's that's unfortunate. I'm trying to look at here and see what might be the best game of the week. I don't know. I, I don't see one. Uh, but let's go through here, right? Miami of Florida is taking on, I guess that's between Cookman University, BCU. I'm going to guess that's what that is because it's BC, but that's Boston College is taking on Florida State. So it can't be Boston College. So I'm guessing that's Boussain um, Cookman University. Kansas State taking on Missouri. Penn State is at Illinois. Uh, LSU is at Mississippi State. Utah hosts Weber State. Notre Dame hosts Central Michigan. Iowa takes on Western Michigan. Oregon State hosts San Diego State. UNC is hosting Minnesota. Alabama is at South Florida. Georgia hosts South Carolina. Oklahoma is at Tulsa. Northwestern is at Duke. Ohio State is at was uh, uh, they're not at they hosting Western Kentucky. They ain't never going to Western Kentucky. They ain't, that ain't never happening. Uh, Michigan State hosting Washington. And, and speaking of Michigan State, they have suspended their coach Mel Tucker for some allegations of sexual harassment. And what the, the crazy thing is is that he sexually harassed a woman allegedly. That was there talking to the students uh, of Michigan State about sexual harassment. <laughs> what? How does that is that you do that? He has claimed his innocence. He said these allegations are false and everything like that. So we we'll have to wait and see what happens with that. But 
I, I found that to be just strange. You sex, you allegedly sexually harass a woman who is there to talk to the students about sexual harassment. I don't know, but that's what it, we'll see what happens with um, against Washington. Washington is the eighth ranked team in the nation. They should beat Michigan State. UCLA is taking on North um, NC Central. I have no idea where that's at. I don't know if there's North Carolina Central or Northern California Central. I don't know. Northern Colorado is taking on Washington State. Tennessee is at Florida. Out of the top 25, this may be the, uh, you know, the game of the week, actually, because Tennessee is, is ranked 11. Florida is probably a, a good team. Uh, may not be better than Tennessee, but we'll see. Mississippi is hosting Georgia Tech. Bowling Green is at Michigan. Hawaii is at Oregon. After after the the uh, the beatdown on Alabama, Texas is now the fourth ranked team in the nation. They are taking on Wyoming, and a game that has everybody wanting to see what is going to happen. Uh, the 18th ranked Colorado Buffaloes are taking on their rival. Colorado State. Um, I forget what the. Let's, let's see if I can quickly find it. Um, I, 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 used to, I used to know a lot of these by heart because it was the, the old football game, NCAA football, but once they ended that, I forgot a lot of these rivalries. Uh, let's see. Uh, I don't know. Uh, Okay, so it just says the Rocky Mountain Showdown. So I guess that's I don't, I don't I don't think they play for any trophy or anything like that. That's the the Rocky Mountain Showdown. So that's gonna be at nine p.m. I don't know if that's Eastern or Central, but uh, I will be watching because Dion has captivated the whole world in Colorado and including myself. So that is going to be fantastic. Now let's talk about. The NFL, as we look past this week one action, the Thursday night game, the Lions was over the Chiefs, 21-20. to The Lions shocked the world um, by beating the, the Kansas City Chiefs in their building. They played pretty good defense. They were all, their offense was good enough. They had a defensive um, touchdown. Uh, a lot of drops from the Kansas City Chiefs wide receivers. Travis Kelsey did not play uh, because of a hemostatic knee, and Chris Jones was still holding out at the time. He has now signed a contract, so a one, at least a one-year contract. So we'll see if uh, if uh, he plays this upcoming week uh, for Kansas City. But uh, yeah, last Thursday it was all the Lions, 21-20. Sunday's actions, and and. and what some may say is shocking, upset, and I would have said it as well. But I guess what you think about and you hear about the thing, the Bengals has have so much trouble with the Browns, and the Browns have improved their defense. They had they got Darius Smith, who was used to be the Viking, and uh, now is um now is uh, in Cleveland, and they still got Miles Garrett, and they had a bunch of defense alignment that was good. So yeah, they they, they put it on Joe Burrow under a hundred yards passing. Uh, so, and uh, it's just amazing. Deshaun Watson, he didn't have spectacular numbers, but he did what he did, you know, to keep the game, uh, you know, in, the, in, in their hands. And Browns blew out the Bengals 24-3. So, you know, this was the week of some surprising scores. The Ravens beat the, the Texans 25-9. Offense did not look this, you know, new offense from the Ravens. And maybe, maybe that's because... Hell, Lamar Jackson didn't play one snap in the in the preseason, uh, so he was out there and just looking like he does. He normally looks like so, uh, and, and, and there wasn't this thing of passing yards, but he's gonna throw for six thousand yards. So, whatever. But they beat the Ravens twenty-five to nine. Buccaneers shocked the Vikings twenty to seventeen. Um, some, some, you know, some turnovers from Kirk Cousins which contributed to the, to the uh, Vikings' loss. Uh, but Baker Mayfield, you know, he 
you know, he started slow, but he came on and led this team to a victory. So you got to give him credit for that. Falcons beat the Panthers 24-10. The Commanders under Sam Howell beat the Cardinals 20-16. Um, Sam Howell's first win as a, as a uh, uh, first win of the season. I don't know if he won. He played one game last year. I don't know if he won that one. Uh, Jaguars beat the Colts 31-21. Anthony Richardson, he, had, he, scored, he scored his first touchdown, rushing touchdown. Um, Jaguars offense looked tremendous with Calvin Ridley in there. He's going to be a big help for Trevor Lawrence, I believe. So that was a, that was good, good, good to see from them. Uh, another shocking blowout. The 49ers is still a 30 to seven. Christian McCaffrey is just he's the best running back in the game. He's not. I'm sorry to Nick Chubb. I'm sorry to Derrick Henry. I'm sorry. Sorry to Saquon Barkley. All of them. When healthy. Christian McCaffrey is the best running back in this league and is not even close. Had a great 60-yard run for a touchdown. The defense stifled the um, Steelers offense. And um, it just, they just played, uh, played like maniacs uh, did the 49ers. And they beat the Steelers 30-7. to Saints beat the Titans 16-15. Uh, Tannehill had a couple interceptions. You know, in that game, um, it's pretty crazy because they dra- the Titans drafted Malik Willis last year, and they drafted Will Levis this year. And you have to wonder with uh, Tannehill last um, on his last year of his contract, and what happened to the Jets, and we'll get to that in a minute as well. Uh, if he's one of the people that maybe might be on the move, you know, and they and they'll go with the rookies. I'm not saying right now. I'm saying maybe down the line once we get closer to the to the, you know, to the um, trading deadline, and we'll see where the Titans are at at that time. Raiders beat the Broncos 17-16. Excuse me. Eagles beat the Patriots 25-20. to Rams shocked the Seahawks 30-13. to This morning on Get Up and on First Take, you know, um, Mike Tenenbaum is saying that the Jets need to go and trade for Matthew Stafford. Well, uh, why? It's... They just won with Matthew Stafford. And he's talking about, well, you know, let's you know, trade Matthew Stafford. Let's try to get a number, a number one pick next year for Caleb Williams and Drake May. So basically, and Robert Griffin called him out. So basically, you tell him to tank. He said, no, 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 take, no, that's what you're saying. You're saying him to tank. Yeah, if, 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 if that trade were to happen, I would hope that um, Roger Goodell would do what David Stern did and nix that trade. Like David Stern nicked the Chris Paul trade to the Lakers. I would hope that he would nix that trade if that would have happened from the Rams to the uh, to the Jets. But that's not going to happen. The Rams think they have something special going on and they need Matthew Stafford. He's one of their big stars. Now, well, again, just like we talked about with, T- with Tennessee and Ryan Tannehill, we'll see where they're at towards the uh, trade deadline. If it looks like that, you know, they need, they're need going one way and they can, you know, make a trade to Matthew Stafford, you know, and we'll see how things are going with the Jets. A big day for the Dolphins in Tua Tungvaloa and Tyreek Hill as they beat the Chargers 36-24. Amazing. Tyreek Hill says that he's going for two, two, uh, going for 2,000 yards. Well, he had, he got close you know, today. He was going over 200 yards you know, on Sunday. Excuse me, not today, on Sunday uh, against the Chargers. So he does that 10 more times. He'll be over 2,000 yards. Uh, but he doesn't need that right now. Uh, the Packers beat my Bears 38 to 20. Same old shit. It's a different day and a different quarterback. Jordan Love. You know he he wasn't spectacular. He wasn't I wouldn't say great anything like that. But he you know he was he was great on the downs that needed to be great on third down and on fourth down. He was awesome. Eight of ten for you know a couple touchdowns. Um. He was, he was great on the downs that needed, he needed to be great on. And the Bears just, just Bears of old. No, that's it. <laughs> hey, new owner, same as the old owner, I guess you can say. Uh, so, packed with the Bears 38 to 20. Sunday Night Football, it was an absolute destruction of the New York Giants from the Cowboys defensively, offensively, special teams wise. They kicked the shit out of them. 
40 to nothing, and it's it's amazing. And you know, you you can't say that they did anything wrong. This is just one game. All of these things happen. It's just one. It's just one game for the Bengals. It's just one game for the Vikings. It's just one game for the Steelers. It's just one game for you know. In, 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 in the positive, it's just one game for the Rams. It's just one game for the Ravens, for the, for the Falcons, and for the Lions, right? So it's just one game. We still have a whole another sixteen games to play. But man. What happened Sunday night was just, it has to put a doubt in your mind. Did we do the right thing for the Giants? Did we do the right thing giving Daniel Jones a monster contract? We'll have to wait and see. And then last night, the Bills beat the Jets. Oh, no, Jets beat the Bills in overtime, excuse me, 22 to 16. Two big stories come from this. One, the biggest story, Aaron Rodgers on the fourth play of his Jets career got injured. They feared it was an Achilles. It has come out that it is an Achilles. He tore his Achilles. He will be out for the season. They are not going to go with Zach Wilson for the rest of the way, I guess. And that's that, that's unfortunate. That is that is just heartbreaking for Aaron Rodgers, for Jets fans. Uh, you know, Mike Greenberg was trending on Twitter because people were so worried about Mike Greenberg and and, 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 and and how you feel because Mike Greenberg has unapologetically just been so bonkers for getting Aaron Rodgers for his New York Jets and for the fourth play of the game for him to go down it, 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 ha it feels something for Jets fans but again it's just one week it's not over yet you know you know Zach Wilson, for what I've seen, he played okay enough, you know, to do what he needed to do. He, you know, I, I saw it many times, you know, in 2005 and 2006 with Kyle Orton, rookie Kyle Orton in 2005 and Rangers Goldsman in 2006. Your defense is amazing. Your offense just has to be, you know, what it is. It just has to be what it is. Just don't turn the ball over. Now, if Zach Wilson does, doesn't turn the ball over, I think this Jets defense can be can lead this team to the playoffs to a division championship. Especially if Josh Allen is going to play like Josh Allen from three years ago. When I think about Josh Allen, I go back to that AFC divisional game two years ago against the Chiefs, where he went up and down the field on the Chiefs defense. In that fourth quarter, like the three times was it? Three times in that fourth quarter, he went up and down the field, scoring a touchdown, making plays, looking like the best quarterback in this league. That's, that's the reason why I went into last year saying he was the best quarterback in the league in the in the game. He was better than Burrow. He was better than than than, than Herbert. He was better than Mahomes. But last year, about middle of the way last year, he just he just started to turn the ball over a lot. And he 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 is he since the start of last year, he has the most turnovers. Not you know, we talk about Jack the Jack Prescott has the most interceptions. He had through fifteen interceptions, he was tied for most last year, but the most turnovers goes to you know, Josh Allen, and that's including the four that happened last night. Most most turnovers since the start of last season. And he and, he, and I don't know, it's you know, he everybody was allowed to have bad games. Great players are allowed to have bad games. Brett Favre threw six interceptions in a in an NFC divisional game or NFC it was, it was either the NFC Divisional game or the NFC Championship game against the St. Louis Rams. He threw six interceptions. Tom Brady has thrown multiple interceptions. Peyton Manning has thrown multiple interceptions. Aaron Rodgers has had games where he's thrown multiple interceptions, but he did not play well. You know, so 
again, this is one game, and, you, and, I, and I'm not just going to jump off of the Josh Allen bandwagon, but I will say this is worrisome. The turnovers are worrisome. He's got to fix this. Because we, because you'll, you, you'll beat, you know, the Raiders. You'll beat, you know, the Steelers. You'll beat, you know, other teams lesser than you because, you, you know, because that's just how talented he is with four turnovers. But the Jets, you know, and the, and the Dolphins, teams that he's fighting for in that division, they're not going to beat them like that. You know, they're not going to beat those teams if he throws four, and if he has four turnovers. It is not. He's got to get better. So, that's it for the Bills. The Jets, you know, took down the Bills last night in overtime, like I said, 22-16. to 16. Unfortunately, Aaron Rodgers has torn his Achilles, and uh, we'll see. They got the Cowboys uh, next, and that's going to be one for the ages because now Zach Wilson has to go against his Cowboys defense. But like I just said, they just beat the shit out of the New York Giants. So, and I think Daniel Jones is a better quarterback than Zach Wilson. So, that's going to be something to see. Uh, and that's happening like this Sunday in the, in the later window. But let's go back to Thursday. This Thursday we have a pretty good game. It should be the Vikings and the Eagles. Jalen Hurts. Against Kirk Cousins, these two, these these teams played twice last year. Both times, Eagles won. They both played it at home. This one is again at at home in Philly. So we're waiting to see that's Thursday. There's the Thursday game, which should, should be pretty good. To Sunday, the Ravens at the Bengals. This is another good test um, for Joe Burrow. The, de the Ravens defense held the Texans to only nine points, uh, albeit. Uh, C.J. Stroud, the rookie quarterback, was was behind center uh, for Texas. This is Joe Burrow, but we'll see what happens, and we'll also see if some if 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 we do see some some production from that offense, this new special all passing offense that we're supposed to see from the uh, from the Baltimore Ravens. We'll see if that happens. The Seahawks go to Detroit, figure on the Lions. Seahawks when they go back on track, get a win on the road. The Lions. First home game back. Need to continue their momentum. Uh, the Colts against the Texans. Both teams are 0-1. Both teams looking for their first win. We'll see which rookie quarterback plays better. And if Anthony Richardson does play, he got injured at the end, on one of the last plays of the game in that final uh, in that final minute against the Jaguars. So we'll see if he plays this week. And so we also see the Texans. You know, Will Anderson could be all over Anthony Richardson by the time that game is over. The Chicago Bears go to Tampa Bay against the Bucks. Here's the thing about my Bears. They're going, you know, from, this is going to be pretty mild, you know, this week in Chicago. But when you go down there to Tampa Bay, it's going to be hot as hell. And uh, 90 degrees and all that humidity. Will they fold? They, that Buccaneers defense is still good. They still got some great players on that team. You know, and who knows about the offense they can make in. They can make feel surprised. So it's going to be it's going to be on the Bears offense to try to keep up and score points on that Buccaneers defense or it's going to be big trouble for the Chicago Bears going 0 and 2 heading into week 3 against the Kansas City Chiefs. Which, by the way the Chiefs 0 and 1 going down to Jacksonville again should be very hot going against uh, the Jacksonville Jaguars. You don't want to go down 0 and 2 even though you're the best team in that division. You, you never want to lose, you, ne you never want to go 0 and 2. It just doesn't happen. Uh, so we'll see what happens here. We'll see if the Chiefs can maintain. We'll see if they have Travis Kelsey. They may have Chris Jones after signing his contract. And let's see if the Jacksonville Jaguars can keep it, can keep it continue with their offensive output with Calvin Ridley, Trevor Lawrence, and Travis Etienne Jr. The Packers are going to the Falcons. Both one and one teams. Both young quarterbacks, Desmond Ritter for the Falcons, Jordan Love for the Packers, and Jordan Love can can he uh, make progress on his you know his uh, on his game after the Bears game three touchdowns and, and Desmond Ritter and B. John Robinson you know can you know can they keep up with the Packers if the Packers have Christian Watson if Christian Watson is there that could be a big that could be a big trouble for the Atlanta Falcons 
The Raiders are at the Bills. The Raiders are wanting to know the Bills are, uh, are coming back. Again, like I just mentioned, this is, you know, Josh Allen, he can have four turnovers and still beat the Raiders. But you can't do that with the you can't you, you can't do that with like the Jets and the Chiefs and the Dolphins or anything like that. So we'll see if the if Josh Allen bounces back and becomes the Josh Allen that we know and love. The Chargers at the Titans both on one. You know, again, you can't go down 0 and 2. The the, re, the record shows like only like eight percent of teams who have gone 0 and 2 make the playoffs or something like that. You don't want to go down 0 and 2. Uh, so. Both of these teams are going to be fighting for the victory. Um, late, late window. 49ers at the Rams. <coughs> Excuse me. Love this game. This should be a very good game to, you know, to go over. 49ers, and, and, you know, coming off the road victory over the Steelers, the Rams, after the road victory over the Seahawks. Rams are at home. This could be very, this could be very good defense. Aaron Donald looks healthy. See if they can... Put a hurt on Brock Purdy and see if Brock Purdy can keep it continue with his one of these days. Each of his starts, he's just thrown two touchdowns, at least two touchdown passes in each one of his regular season starts. Amazing. The Giants at the Cardinals. This should be a get right game for the Giants as the Cardinals are. And even though they, they, they kept it together with the Commanders, still, this is a team that is obviously tanking, obviously trying to get the first pick and you know and so have options you know so the Giants really need to step up here we talked about the Jets and the Cowboys that defense of the Cowboys can they do to Jack Wilson what they did to Daniel Jones that's going to be interesting the commanders at the Broncos um, Sean Payton you know, can, you know can he get, get, get this Broncos offense to start humming right and the commanders, what about, you know, are they going to keep it continue with Sam Howell and what they do good? It's going to be very interesting to see. The Dolphins are at the Patriots uh, for Sunday night football. Uh, I think this is going to be interesting. Again, Patriots, they lost. The, the Patriots, they lost. And uh, so they're going to go down to, um, you know, they, they don't want to go down 0-2. In the division, um, and when the Dolphins go up 2-0, so that you don't want that to happen. And the funny thing is that usually this game happens in Miami at the beginning of you know in the start of the season, but this time it's at New England, so it won't be hot, it won't be humid. The Patriots may actually have a chance to to beat the Dolphins, but we'll wait to see on that. Not 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 if Tua Tagovailoa and Tyreek Hill are going to. Be the you know are going to do what they did, you know, this past week. And two Monday Night Football games uh, this uh, this this, um, this this upcoming week. Saints at the Panthers. We get a chance to see Bryce Young in action on national TV for the first time. That should be interesting. And then we have the Browns at the Steelers. Uh, can uh, Kenny Pickett get back on track? Can the Steelers get back on track? Will the Browns? Bring that confidence from beating the Bengals into Pittsburgh to beat the Steelers. So, should be some good, good old fashioned um, AFC North football happening in that game. And uh, week two is going to be a nice week of football. So glad that football is back, both college and pro. This is going to be a fantastic uh, week of uh, weekend of action, I believe. <laughs> All right, there you have it. Season six, episode one has been completed of the game according to me. If you like what you just heard, become a supporter. Several ways to do it. One way. Go to patreon.com slash agent trip and become a patron. Sign up. Once I hit a certain amount of patrons, you will be able to determine what you hear on my other podcast, Word According to Me, what you see on my YouTube channel, youtube.com slash AJ Trip, or what video games you want to see me play on uh, Twitch, twitch.tv slash AJ Trip 20, 
uh, I have to have the video game to play, so um, that's the only rule with that. Or you can support me directly from my hosting site, which is uh, the um, it used to be Anchor.fm, now is Spotify. Uh, you can go to Spotify. You can go to um, you can go to podcast.com slash pod slash show slash Andres dash triplets dash show slash support. Um, link should be in the description box of each podcast, so you can do that. And you have three tiers. There's a 99 cent per month tier, a $4.99 cent per month, and there's $9.99 cent per month. Those are, you know, you can do that. And, that, and along with the um, Patreon, that's how you can support me monetarily. Now, if you can't support monetarily, then the way you can support me otherwise is by sharing this podcast, sharing this on Twitter, on Facebook, on all of your social medias, do it on threads if you can, just go ahead and show it. But any way it goes, I appreciate so much the fact that you are even listening to this. And any other kind of support that you give is just icing on the cake, and I appreciate that so much. So thank you guys so much for listening. Be back next week, next Tuesday, every week. Until the uh, until the Super Bowl, we're gonna be right here talking in, 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 I'm talking college football, talking pro football, and the NFL, and maybe some other things that are happening as we're heading down the streak uh, of the uh, Major League Baseball. We'll get into the playoff things, and and as basketball starts up as well, but the, the team gonna take at the bronze in the FIBA in the FIBA World Cup, unbelievable. Anyway. Once again, thank you guys so much for listening. This is your boy, AJ Tripp, signing off. As always, be good to each other, y'all. Be careful out there. And I am out.